Who in the heck goes, okay, let's see, I got it. We'll make a pig bone. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm over here in, uh, where the heck am I? Right, guys, I'm in Medina, and uh, we got a Joanne fabric over here, and I noticed they got some Halloween stuff outside, so I thought we'd go inside and see exactly what kind of Halloween decorations they have. They usually have some pretty good stuff in here. Oh my god, I have not seen this before. This is a 16-piece foam ugh, skeleton slash body kit. That's actually pretty cool, and it's only 10 bucks, man. You get to paint that. Okay, this one has a skull, but I noticed there's a... Oh, this is different here. These are separate. Foam heads. <laughs> that almost looks like Freddy Krueger. That's pretty funny. I wonder how much those are. I don't know. I don't see a price on these. Probably about a buck or two. But that's pretty cool right there. The bone set. And you paint it. Wait, what's that say? Dead end? Yeah dead end. Paper mache pumpkins. We got some scarecrows here and a mini straw bales. I always like to get the giant straw bales, you know, from uh, from farmers. And hay, hay stocks, or not hay stocks, what do you call them? Corn stocks. 40% off. Look at these colored pumpkins. Oh, these are cool. I think these are the ones you, yeah, you can carve these. Incredible funkins. Artificial carvable pumpkins. That's actually a really good idea. 25 bucks. Although you get 40% off, so 25 bucks. It'd be 15 bucks for this pumpkin right here. Now, if you compare that to buying a real pumpkin and carving it, you'd pay five bucks at least for a real one, carve it, and then it would die in about three days. So that's not a bad price. That's I like those that you can carve and they're foam. That's pretty cool. Uh, nothing there I'm interested in. Let's go on in here and see what other stuff we can find. And I see it straight ahead, too. Ooh, they got the Halloween decorations up. All right, well, let's start down on this end. Sparkly pumpkins. Okay, so we got some spiders. Hocus Pocus. What the heck? <laughs> it's like an owl with bones. I wonder if those glow in the dark. That is so strange. Mini dog. Okay. Here we got bat bones, fish bones. Oh my god. Pig bones. Are you serious? That is so funny. A twisty pig bone tail. <laughs> I have seen it all. Actually, I probably haven't. I'm probably going to find something else that makes me go, oh my god. This is cool. There's like a T-Rex skull. A squid bones. I think I may have seen that somewhere else. Not sure, though. Life-size skeletons. Here's a gold skeleton. I don't get that. Why would people want the gold skeletons? Just the typical kind of haunt, ooh, haunted farmhouse. That's a pretty cool sign. I actually do like this kind of stuff. If your house was, you know, that kind of country feel, you could decorate with this kind of stuff, and it would be really nice. All right, let's see what else we can find. Okay, more skeletons. There's a bat rug. Pathway lights. What in the heck? Heck no. That's a head in there, I think. Or is it just, I don't know if that's a head or if it's just a ball. There's that pig again. That is so funny. Who in the heck goes, okay, let's see, I got it. We'll make a pig bone. <laughs> Uh, Nimbus 2000. Okay. Witches welcome. Oh, look at the witch boots. That's kind of cool, actually. 
What the heck? Look at this. Mike Wazowski. Okay, this right here reminds me of a book I bought for my mom for uh, for Christmas one year. It was called Mousekin's Golden House, I think it was. And it was about a mouse who lived in a pumpkin. And I think I paid 40 bucks for the book. It's an old book. Um, and they go for up to $100 on eBay. Kind of amazing, you know, that's, that's that whole nostalgia thing. People remember these books they read as a kid. Look at this. What is that, some kind of a resin skull? That's pretty cool. Those are not really heavy, but I mean, they're, they're nice, thick material. All right, what do we got here? Dark, the darkness. Garlands. Oh, look at the boots. <laughs> Burlap, this is pretty cool. You know, if you were a crafter, that's the kind of cool stuff that would be on your list. We got, what is a, <laughs> a spine candle. Oh my God. Can I turn it on? Yeah, look. The spine candle right there. That is too funny. Don't break it, Nathan. Okay, let's turn it off. Okay, let's see. A few other things in here. Oh, these are like, I guess, costumes. Wings, that looks like. Trick or treat yourself before you wreck yourself. Shoes off, which is black cat. What is this? Oh, it's like a flag. Hmm. Here's some other little... Oh, these are pet costumes. Those are kind of funny. Look, it's like a monkey that rides your dog. Hmm. Okay, then of course we got the fabrics and stuff over here. For all y'all crafters out there. I think that may be it. And, oh my god, Christmas. Okay, we're ending it here. I'm just kidding. Here's more of those bone things that we saw out front carvable pumpkins but yeah below it is all christmas i don't even want to see christmas yet it's even too early for halloween but it's more understandable okay well that's it for the joanne joanne fabrics halloween i knew there wouldn't be any kind of uh inflatables or animatronics or anything in there but you never know i mean these stores get different things all the time so all right guys see you later